Hey, you guys. Okay, so I'm doing something a little out of my comfort zone and a little crazy. But a lot of people have asked me for a house tour. And so that's what I'm going to do. But I got some disclaimers for you. I have not cleaned my house well. And we've lived here for six years, so it's a little cluttered. There's a lot of stuff fit into one house. And it's not the way I want it to be, but I'm going to show you anyway. And hopefully when I walk you through my house, I can give you some tips that have helped us. But it's not like a perfect home, okay? So don't expect to see something amazing. Just showing you all how we live with eight, soon nine kids. All right, let me reverse this camera and walk you through. Go back inside. Alrighty. Go back inside. Go back inside. Hey, Andy. Let's go back inside. This is the entry. That's what my husband made. This is our sign. Alright, we got a guest bath down here. Nothing special. Super simple. But this, you guys, is where my Rooted in Christ boutique is. This is the baby's room, unfortunately. And so he has to share it with all of my boutique clothes. These are all of my racks of boutique clothes. And his bed. So he doesn't have anything special. Oh, check this out, though. Are these not the cutest boy jeans you've ever seen? five dollars at walmart yesterday i can't wait for him to wear them anyway so anchor is in the clothes room they rooted in christ boutique clothes room but then this is our clothes system behind all these curtains are you ready it's totally not folded or put away right but this is how we keep all the clothes in the house those are all their matching clothes up top. And then each bin is, like, each kid gets two bins. It's a disaster, I know. But, hey, the kids put their own laundry away, and that's all that matters. They know where it's at, right? So that's that room. Messy first room. But, hey, we got to make everything fit. Hey, make sure they're not outside. Yeah. This is my newborn studio it's our dining room turned into a studio it has all my props on the walls for my newborns all my props are in that cabinet and answer sleeps in here because she cannot sleep with other people we tried that she gets her best sleep in here so this is my newborn studio. My husband redid that wall. The stairs lead up. My husband did that baby gate. The stairs lead up there. I'll show you guys all that later. I'm a little nervous to go up there. I haven't seen it yet. My husband redid that. He found that on the side of the road. Our little reading spot. Oh, look, Gabby. My friend Gabby made us that. And then our picture, one of our picture walls. And this is our kitchen, cluttered kitchen. But I do have to share an awesome idea with you guys. Oh, and our homeschool is going to happen right there. At this big table. All right, so listen to this. Yesterday, I got kind of a message from a lady about how I use paper plates. And I saw that, hold on, I'm going to reverse the camera. So I saw this um, big family blog a few weeks ago, and she shared a tip about dishes. And she said that they use the same dishes for every meal, and then they just rinse them off. And they use the same pots and pans and just rinse them off. And that way they never use the dishwasher and they never use paper plates or anything. So yesterday after this lady 
in front of me about my, my, about my paper plates. I decided we're gonna try this. So far, so good. We spent the dinner last night and breakfast today doing our, doing our, go get all the kids out of the front yard. Dad's talking to them. Um, doing our, our new thing where we rinse off the plates and we have one plate for everybody. So I'll show you what it looks like. Our 10 plates that we use for every meal. That's where the silverware goes. And let me show you what we do for cups. They all have their own personalized cup that goes right here in the refrigerator that they drink all day for meals and they have to leave it in the refrigerator. Some of them have straws. They, a lot of them have taken the straws out. They have these little lids. But each kid has one and that's what we do for cups. So all we have to do for mealtime is rinse off a plate and silverware. Then this is our living room. We have to have a huge couch so we all fit. Our photo wall. This is our toy, our downstairs toy space for Anchor. And then that is our very big couch that we customize to fit our living room. All right, this is, well, let me get Anchor his bottle. This is another baby gate that my husband made. Here, here's his bottle. Here you go, Krabs. Where's answer, you guys? Where's answer? I don't know, but you can't tell me I can't go outside and play with my friends. You can't. Please go make sure she's not in the front yard. All right, this is our dirty right now bedroom, but this is our workspace. And that's where my husband works from home and where I do my boutique and photography. All this is my brand rep stuff I have left to do. Our bed. This is our dog bed over here. And then Anchor's nap. Look at our dirty floor. I'm sorry. All right, our bathroom. Please, guys, I know, you could pick me apart. You could pick my life apart. It's not perfectly clean. There she is. But this is how we live. This is the best I can do for now. And then our closet. Yes, I have way too many clothes, but hey, I have a boutique. That's all my husband's. That's all mine. So, not too interesting, just a boring, normal house. And then this is our outdoors. Very small backyard, but we're grateful for what we have. Hoping for some land though. All right, one more stop, and that is the upstairs, which I'm nervous about. So the upstairs is the kids' area. They have all control of the upstairs. This is their little baby photo wall. Most of them are their baby pictures. I need to make, and still need to print anchors this is their playroom in the front. They were vacuuming, it looks like. So they have their books, their little couch that the dogs destroyed. I guess that's their new toy box in the corner. And then in here is Andre's room. We have three bedrooms upstairs. So Andre has two beds. He's waiting on anchor. It's a little mess up here, but whatever. I don't know why his bag is hanging on the wall. He likes it on the 
This is their bathroom. There's a toilet in the other door. Who sleeps in here? Angel and Andy. And Andy. They switch so much I don't even know anymore. No, when you told us to. I know, but I didn't. Started. I didn't know if you did it. So there, Andy's in her bed, Angel's in hers. That used to be our homeschool table, and hopefully when we get a bigger house, <laughs> I can do that. And since we don't put any clothes in their rooms, Angel, it's okay. Since we don't have any clothes upstairs, their closets are just storage for their toys or things they don't want kids to get a hold of. And then the three big girls' room. Which they love. So this is Anissa, Anison, and Angelie's room. They have their little desks. They redo their rooms like every day, so. And their special closet. Okay, why are there clothes up here? Because we like them in here. No, I said no clothes upstairs. Sorry. See, this is where all my missing clothes are. I didn't even know they did this. This is not okay. Yeah, we were thinking of putting our shoes in here, too. Oh, that is the Collins house. Nothing special. Nothing amazing. Mandre made, made this for our TV. What did I forget? Mom. Yeah, they already saw that. Our, our rugs to play cars on. So anyway, that's all. That's how we live. I hope that you got some tips, but I don't have too much, too much extra to share. Just showing you our house. We're squeezing a lot of people in a, I, I mean, our house isn't tiny. It's 30, 100 square feet, but you know, you gotta make do when you have two businesses run out of it and eight kids' beds, but it works. The kids like to share a room and they used to have their own rooms and they got scared, so. You don't have to have a lot to have a big family. I hope that this was helpful, if nothing else, entertaining. Because it's good to know that not everyone lives perfectly clean. Our house is still dirty. And that's okay. Alright, bye.